Okay, here we have this device that we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. What are we going to do? Well, before recovering our device, we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do this process. In this video tutorial, we are going to use a totally different method than the previous one. We also have a method without a PC. In the description of the video and in the comments, we are going to leave a method to be able to solve it. We have several methods. I also want to tell you, for those people who want to have our video in advance, well, we have the community of members where you will be able to enjoy those videos in advance. So we recommend that you join our community. Well, first of all, we are going to take a tour of the positive device so that you can see that our device is totally locked. Since it has a screen lock. Also, finally, it has the forgotten Gmail account. This is the Uh, the screen lock. Here we also find the Gmail account that we have forgotten, as well as the screen lock. Now, what a tool is. This tool is fully updated. We are going to explain where you are going to be able to download the tool and first of all, what we are going to do is that before. Running the tool, we have to temporarily deactivate the antivirus so that the program blocks us because if we run it like that, it will detect it as a virus and it will block us. Well, we are going to go to our antivirus and we are going to temporarily deactivate it. We run our antivirus, we click where it says virus and threat protection. This is where we are going to select. Then we select the option that says manage settings and then these options will be enabled. We are going to disable them. We say yes. Once they are disabled, now what we are going to do is the following. We are going to go to our browser and we are going to do the following. In our browser, we are going to write exactly as it appears like this. As you can see, we are going to write Davidsel with DL. Then this option will appear that is going to say Android TV. Then you are going to select the first option that says Davidsel. Here we are going to have many totally different methods. We are going to have several methods. Here is what they are going to do. They will select the option that says Ibisel apps. Here we have more entries. We select that entry. Ready. Now here in that option we will be able to also find other totally different methods. Uh several methods that you will be able to uh enjoy as well. Of those methods here below we will be able to find the tool. We will go down here we have the tool. Uh, click on the tool and it will take you to another page where you will be able to also download the drivers and also uh, be able to run it. Also in this video tutorial we will explain how to run everything completely. So when we download the R tool and deactivate the antivirus. We will run here as administrator. We say yes, we say yes, we click on next. Next and next, we will not deactivate anything, we will leave it as it appears there. We hope that the tool is installed correctly, ready, it is already installing. Now a shortcut will be created and we will click here that says finish. And the tool will run automatically. Now when the tool runs you will see an option to be able to. EH to be able to be able to update it but you are not going to update. That tool. Well let's tell it where it says no. We are not going to update this tool, we tell it no. We leave it as it appears on the screen, we tell it to start session. 
and what this tool is would open. Let's wait for the tool to open. Here we have various information, we have various processors. With Unitson and we also have the models of our phone, various models. But in this video tutorial we are only going to use the MediaTek processor. Then here we have Meta. Here we have EH services and we are going to use this option that says reset PRP. We are going to click only the tool that says reset PRP. Ready we are going to locate what our device is. We are going to locate our phone. What we are going to do now, since we have executed the tool. What we are going to do now with our phone is turn it off. We are going to turn it off, we are going to turn it off. We are going to leave it off like that and now what we are going. To do is nothing more, we are going to press any button. We are going to introduce what is the USB cable, we are going to introduce the USB cable. We are going to wait for the tool to detect the device and do its entire process. Here it will appear when reset SPRP appears that appears here. This one here that says reset FRP successful. When it comes out that is because our device EH the Google account was removed. Now it is going to learn itself, we are not going to do anything, we just leave it like that. But suddenly in some devices that you get the error that says. Install the drivers if you get that error what you are going to do is the following. If the error. USB L USB. We are going to run it as administrator I am going to explain this. Process in detail we are going to click here next we click here. We click next, next and next. We are going to click install, we click here on finish here it will appear. This option will appear, what are you going to do? Here it is to delete the drive here to install it you are going to click here it says install. You click next and when you run. Here eh that the device is running it will appear mediated. You are going to select the MediaTek drives and you are going to click install. Then disconnect the device, if it does not appear then disconnect it. Reconnect it turned off here the driv will appear you click on install. When it is installed you have to do it quickly before it is removed. Install it, select it, click install quickly and when it is installed what? You have to remove and try again process. Well now what we're going to do is disconnect the device. Since we have finished uh what was the deletion of accounts? What we're going to do is restart our phone, but this still doesn't end here. When we do this process our devices are left with some errors and how to correct those errors. Well I always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to solve what this problem is uh how we know that our device was successful. Well, when you get the option, the last option that says reset. PRP reset and you get this option here, accessibility. As you could see at the beginning of the video I did not go to accessibility, but now it is coming out. Well let's click here on next. I'm also going to explain how to correct the errors that we have left on our phone. We have some errors left, how do we correct these errors then? Now we're going to click here where it says tour off. We're going to click here on skip Wi-Fi, uh. We don't have to have any SIM card inserted in our phone. We remove the entire SIM card, we click on skip. We're going to click here where it says do not copy, then we're going to click here on accept. We click here in skip, we're going to do all these options quickly. Click on it. We're going to wait and now here we're going to click where it says finish. We click on finish, ready. Now what we're going to do is go to what is settings. Here we go about the phone and we're going to look for the reset option. 
We click on reset, now we click here. We click here below where it says factory data reset and when our device. It would already be like a totally new device, ready to be able to use it. 